Today, what we're going to do is we're going to write an SEO optimized, 100% SEO optimized blog post. If you're a business owner, a blog owner, you know the importance of publishing blog posts, of having a blog, of having a brand. This is all part of the same cycle. So that what you explain to you how I do it in my SEO company for any of my clients. Yeah, I repeat, any of my clients, I have the same process, the same exact process that we're going to go over today. So if you want to get tons of page views to your website, to your blog, watch this video, share it with your friend, like it if you want. Let's dive in into step one. Step number one, find the keyword. How do we find the keyword? This is keyword research. It's much more complicated. We will not go into it today. I already have the keyword. The keyword is competitive analysis, right? Competitive analysis, SEO competitive analysis. This is a long tail keyword. So now that we have the keyword, we'll go into step number two, which is to understand the searcher's intent. And to do that, we'll go into an incognito tab and we'll write SEO competitive analysis. Now we'll see the results. We'll see a few things here. First of all, we see an ad, an ad which if we read the title, it says how to do an SEO competitive analysis. This already means that this keyword is rather difficult. It's KD or keyword difficulty is rather high. But anyways, we're going to write this blog post because I want to have it on my website. Good. Now for the searcher's intent, what is the searcher's intent for blog post? It's pretty much what does the searcher want to find? when he searches his keyword. If you write now SEO competitive analysis, what would you want to find? What do the top three results offer the reader? Let's go into the Moz article. Let's see what it says. How to do an SEO competitive analysis. This is the title that they chose with free downloadable template. Good. So they explain what is, what is an SEO competitive analysis. Why is it important? How to conduct? There we go. How to conduct it. How to do it. This is the searcher's intent. He wants to understand how to do this competitor's analysis. So now that we understand the searcher's intent, we can write a blog post with greater ease. That means that we know what to write about. Good, now we understand the searcher's intent, which is how to do it and when to do it. So now we'll go to the, into the next step, which is writing the title. So we're here on in the title. We want to transmit to the visitor to enter our website and not other people's websites. So let's do it. How and when to perform, perform, a, a competitor's SEO analysis. No, I got something better. SEO competitors, competitors analysis. How and when to perform. Why am I writing this blog post? Because right now in my brand, I have this huge, huge, huge blog post I wrote, which is 46 minutes to read, which is around, I think, 16,000 words or 12, something like this in between, pretty much it's very long. So what I'm doing right now is I'm writing, I wrote this big article and now I'm interlinking to, to each point to another article to further explain. This is how I'm going to develop my topic authority on my website. So we already wrote five long term keywords or how to do it. We already wrote how to use SEO tools. Now we write how to analyze competitors, competitive keywords. Good. Now we've, that we've finished with the title, we're going to go over to the image. So the image for, so for featured posts, what I do is I use Canva. Change the warning here. Competitor analysis. Analysis. This is great. Here's analysis. We can do it. Put it a bit to the right. This is nice. I like it. Competitor analysis. Of course, we are always going to have a nice alt text competitors. Good. Next step, we're going to write our intro. This is my intro. Today, I'm going to reveal all the secrets to you. In this world, we have to analyze our competitors because believe it or not, there's so much to learn from your competitors. Doesn't matter which, doesn't matter in which industry you are. Oh, now we got the image here. So I think it's very important. I don't think it's very important to add your keyword in the first paragraph. It's, it's the best practice to do it in the first 100 words, but I recommend always to do it in your first paragraph. So do we, do we have it here? The competitors, because we don't know so much to move in competitors, you know, which industry you are. Today, we'll learn how and when to perform an SEO competitors analysis, keyword analysis. We can bold that just to make it better for the reader. Next step, we're going to format the blog post. It's going to be just adding titles, H2, H3s, H4s to format your blog post, and then we're just going to fill up the titles, the headings. And this way, we don't write 2,000 words for on just one topic. We have many, many things to cover. It's going to be so easy. Your, your fingers are just going to move on your keyboard like you're flying. 
like you're in space, you're going to fill out all the headings very, very easily. What is what is SEO competitive competitors analysis? Why is performing an SEO competitors analysis important? Notice that I'm going by the rank of importance for the reader. So the first of all, we have to explain what is the thing that we're doing. Then we explain why it's important. And now we're going to do we're going to write how to perform an SEO competitors keyword analysis. Notice that I'm using two phrases here. SEO competitors analysis, which is exactly the same thing as SEO competitors keyword analysis. There's actually one difference. With SEO competitors and keyword analysis, we are actually analyzing the keywords, the keywords that the this business, this our competitor are is using. So there is a difference here. So we can actually change the language here if we prefer to. Keyword. Yeah, it's it's much better. And we'll also make sure it's the same language. Good. How to perform when an SEO competitors keyword analysis. I think that is absolutely enough. Then we'll have a final words section. This is our H2 titles. Now what we do is we'll actually go ahead and make the H3s. What is SEO competitors keyword analysis? This is a title by itself. There's no subtitles. Same thing for this one. Why? How to perform. Good. Here we have a few steps that we want to take to do it. So step number one, step number two, step number three, step number four, step number five. That's it. This is how you perform keyword analysis briefly. This is going to be H3. Why H3? Because it's the subtitles. These are the subtitles for this big H2 title. We're going to perform number one when auditing your when auditing two pages. And that's pretty much our formatting. You can see we have H2, H2, H3, and more H3s. Now, here's a quick tip for you guys. So I see here the keyword SEO tool. Now, in my head, I already know all the articles that I wrote about, which means I know I wrote an article about SEO tools, the best ones. Both of you guys do SEO tools and the eight best ones. So what am I going to do? Exactly what you think. I'm going to put an interlink right here. Just an interlink. This way, I'm just constantly doing interlinking and outlinking. Not, I don't invest time separately in doing that. I just do it as I'm writing. Good. Let's let's now. The next step is a table of contents. I love putting table of contents in every single article that I write. Just the H2, by the way. No H3s. Paragraph. Nice highlighting here. And we're just going to put. This is how we do it in Wix. Go to section. Formatting by H2. This is what is SEO. Competitive analysis. Save. We do the same thing. Link. Section. Boom. We have a table of contents. Now it's another tip for you if you want to write good content. You have to be concentrated. You have to be hydrated. So drink a lot of water, guys. Don't forget it. Pretty much ready to just spill out words on the article. We're going to write the entire article. No stopping. No doing something else. Just write the entire article. In one sitting or two sitting if it's a very long article like this one probably gonna take me some time we're going to just go ahead and write the tiny thing right now wish me luck oh this is the intro Here's something I want you guys to understand. So what is SEO competitors keyword analysis? Here you have something that I like to call the answer target. Because this is something that I learned from a channel that's called Income School. Check them out. They're crazy. They're amazing. Um, good. But anyways, SEO competitors keyword analysis is when you blah, 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 blah. You want to write that up front, up front. So second paragraph already. Here I'm just uh, warming up the audience. If you, ever, if you ever ask yourself how to get out of free, let me give you the answer right now. Then just the answer. So warm up, target answer that answers the, the entire thing up front. Give all the answers. This is how you win snippets. For instance, if you are now right, should I take creatine? I don't know. No snippet. Okay, should I take creatine before after workout? Boom, you guys see that? This is a nice snippet right here. This is the 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 website here, the blog here is answered very, very condensely on this keyword and this is why they got the snippet so we want to do the same thing and in the meanwhile we can go ahead and add our another interlink just because why not to our post here so, blah, blah, blah. let's go 
here SEO not here actually SEO Boom. and go write a link to that another one is having an SEO company worth it pay for SEO is it worth it let's do this one it's a great keyword very nice we have three interlinks already amazing really so another great tip here that you can use is you can add colors we'll add media after this part this step but right now what you can do is just concentrate on adding colors any stuff that catches the eye so people concept is yellow now we have a nice important um, sentence here we can add add a nice color to it why not good why is performing an SEO competitor is cute and also support boom same thing answer title right here good. we have a nice quote here that we can just add right here okay. this is amazing and do add this to the thing now we got another format right here externally which is also very very important all right how to perform an SEO for purpose of keyword analysis as you can see this is how you have to be this is how you have to work you have to be productive if I were to now go get up get some coffee I won't be able to continue my line of thought my my string of thoughts you know so i'm just here i'm writing 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 i'm on the same topic my mind's on the same topic i just write 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 the words literally i don't think like a floating space man it's actually like a floating space i think it's it's much better th this way you should do the same thing as you see i've already wrote written i don't know how many words probably like 500 in like seven minutes maybe we got a nice phone but everything done in like 50 minutes i think it's incredible guys i think it's very incredible We'll add a nice bold here or better get a nice color good we are going to continue another great tip is to actually use a lot of lists replace long paragraphs to so just explain what how to do something or just describe one thing you can write in a list format it's much more digestible for the reader to increase the concentration when uh, when the reader will read this blog post so let's see how many words we've already written guys just a quick check it's been around 20 minutes 784 words now i don't write really fast <laughs> don't write really fast let's actually see how fast i write guys oh, i love that person man i used to play every single day every single day <laughs> let's go you guys ready Ale. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go. And I feel not shy with the people. And at least, I will never fear the mind of a man does not think. 95. Not terrible. Let's continue with the article, shall we? <laughs> Going to perform a circuit better skills analysis. Auditing your life. Go ahead and write the outro. The outro. The outro is a very important aspect in every single blog post. So let's go ahead and write the outro right here. Yeah, after like 30 minutes of writing, I was a little bit sore. It's no problem. But when we do what we can, we, we, we can what we do. So, yeah, let's just continue. I'll do some yoga after that. Doing some yoga, drinking some water is very, very important. Meditating a bit. You should, you should try it, guys. All right, final words. This has been how and when to perform. now pretty much finished the entire writing let's see how many words guys 1200 words not a lot we just did 30 minutes of writing we can always continue writing we just don't need to you know now where we get the actual advantage why i will rank for this article 
in a few months, let me show you exactly why. I do custom images, custom videos, everything. Infographic, I always add as much media as possible. This is why you're going to win as well. Let's add a lot of media. This is the next step, adding media. Great tip is to use an image compressor for all of your images. Here I took a nice custom image. Let's compress it, man. Let's make our site load faster. Improve user experience, always good. Another tip you can use is to use images that are in JPEG file or lighter. It's better for site speed, for color vinyls, etc. Good, and this is pretty much all of the images we're going to add. Okay, last thing we're going to do is we're going to add a nice call to action at the end. There is this. You want to work with us? This is a, com it's a completely free service. We'll prove we'll pro we can strategy for your business. This is going to be the call to action. Always important to have a call to action. It's always the link. Pretty much it. I've already edited all the text while I was writing. I'm always rereading. I'm always shifting, so I don't need to edit the text again. Good. So these are these are the stuff that we've done so far. First of all, we found a long tail keyword, a keyword that we want to talk. In our case, it is SEO competitors keyword analysis or how to do it. Now we've come up with a title, basically a title, image, intro. We formatted the 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 blog post, we got a nice table of contents. We filled in all the titles. We did outer links or external links. We did a call to action. We did interlinking. We added media. And now the only thing that's left to do is review the blog post. Make sure it looks good in your eyes. Just skim to it. See that there's always a lot of media, a lot of colors, a lot of quotes. You can do that. You'll be much better off. And then the only thing we have to do is publish the blog post. That's it. Okay, this, this looks good. Okay, the bit of contents works. Good. Boom. Another image. Another image. Another image. Image, video. 